Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Chart TV. My name is Malcolm Gordon and today we're going to take another look at determining seasonality in markets. Uh, when we're looking for seasonality, we're looking for cycles that repeat over and over and over again. But we're looking for to find patterns in a market so that we can profit from them and we can choose we can decide what is the best time to be in and out of the market. Uh, so essentially we want to we want to time the market. All right, so what we what I've been doing is I've been looking at charts such as this one, and this is the uh, Australian market, the benchmark for the Australian index. Though what I'm about to uh, do can be applied to any market, the S&P 500, uh, commodities, futures, oil, gold, whatever market it is, you can apply this sort of analysis uh, uh, to it. Um, okay, so what we have here is uh, this market uh, on a weekly chart, and what I've gone, gone and done is I've gone and um, uh, determined the highs and lows for each year. So, uh, in the, for, for example, for the year 2005 with this market, the high for the year was in December. So it made its high in the last month of the year, and the low for the year was in May. So what I've got and done is gone and uh, created a basic uh, Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet, like so. And I've gone and jotted in that the low for the year for 2005 was May, and the high for the year for 2005 was December. Okay, I've then gone and done that uh, from 2005 through to 1987, uh, as we have here. And I, I believe that the more data you have, the the uh, the uh, more accurate, the more reliable your results are going to be, and the more robust any system you you base on these results is going to be. Um, I should also add that uh, what I'm doing here can be applied across any time frame. So you can do this. Uh, I'm doing it here, it highs and lows for on a yearly basis. You can apply it on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, a daily basis, like to the half hour period, to the 15 minute period. You can break it down or, or, or push it out as far back as you like. It's up to you. Um, and that's the beauty of like an analysis like this. Like it, it's something that you can apply across all time frames is what I would term robust. And uh, robust usually robustness usually leads to consistency. Uh, I want to build something that will last me years, that that will work for years. And what I'm doing here, uh, hopefully, uh, will help to achieve that. So anyway, what I've done is I've gone and jotted down these highs and lows from 2000, 1987 to 2005 for this market, and I've gone and uh, run some stats in them. So I've done a count. Um, uh, for those of you familiar with Excel, I've, I've run a count if formula. So I've, I've uh, done a count if for all the Januarys, all the Februarys, etc. And I've come up with the stats. And what I've come up with is interesting. It's shown that, um, for instance, uh, it, with this market, um, January uh, lows were made in January 16% of the time and highs 11% of the time. Um, for the month of May, uh, lows were made 11% of the time, yet no highs were made in May. Uh, for for this uh, time period, um, interestingly, December is appears to be and October appear to be immensely bullish months. Uh, we can see here that October highs are made 21 percent of the time, and uh, highs are also made in December 26 percent of the time. So it looks like the last quarter of the year um, tends to be uh, quite good for the bulls. But also on on the flip side, uh, uh, the October and November lows were were made 16 uh, percent of the time, which is a uh, um, quite a rating um, and uh, incidentally uh, December had lows made only 5% of the time so on the, on the whole December it appears to be quite a, a bullish month for this market. Okay what I've gone and done is um, uh, tabled these results up into this little table here and uh, this table is all well and good but I prefer to see things graphically. Uh, I, I'm more of a visual person and I, I pick things up uh, better if I see them graphically. So what I've done is I've gone and uh, uh, created a chart for this uh, so I've just highlighted this uh, data set and gone insert chart and I like the uh, 3D you can muck around with all sorts of chart types uh, in Excel but I've just gone for the um, uh, column 3D column and next and that looks good to me and so is that, that looks fine, I might uh, put a little title in later uh, that looks good to me and let's finish and uh, there we have it folks there's my chart of uh, the highs and lows for this market from 1987 to 2005. Um, we can see here that uh, on the whole December is the most bullish month. October also tends to be quite bullish. August neither highs nor lows were made in August uh, and the most uh, bearish month I guess where most lows were made tend to be January and February. So and September as well. No highs made in September yet lows made in September. 
So what I can do is I can go and base in this starter, go and create, um, this gives me uh, valuable insights to my market. Uh, please feel, feel free now to go ahead and um, try this on your market and see sort of what uh, insights it will give you. I hope this has uh, been uh, some, some uh, help to you. Righty ho, my name is Malcolm Gordon and this has been the latest episode of Chart TV. Thanks for watching.